Let me spend today's minute talking to my unfortunate brothers and sisters who have only recently lost a loved one and are about to go back to work. I'm going to ask you for a little patience and understanding with co-workers. Why? Because there will be those who will say things that will make you want to scream or resort to a good old-fashioned throat punch. Someone might comfort you by saying, you're strong, you'll get over this, or your loved one is in a better place now, or even, you're young, you can always remarry. Try to remember patience and understanding. You're the one going through hell now, I know, but these are actually kind-hearted people who, unless they've been through our fire, are incredibly uncomfortable in your loss and have no idea what to say. Like most of us, though, they were raised to rush to and to give comfort to those in pain, to say something that will make it all better. If they only knew the best thing to say is just nothing, we would all be better off, right? Regardless, when that teammate at work puts a hand on your shoulder and tells you that they know what you are going through because they just put down the family dog, have a little understanding. And keep a handle on your gut instinct for that throat punch. And that's the Grief in the Workplace Minute.